just tell us your name again? Sure, can. Uh, my name is Ned Germini, G-E-R-M-I-N-I. Thank you. And can you tell us what you brought with you today? Yes, uh, mainly it's about uh, my uncle. These three are brothers. Uh, they came from Akuto, Italy. Uh, two of them, my grandfather and my great uncle, uh, settled in Milton. The other one, Paul, went to uh, South America, settled in Brazil. But uh, my uncle, Santo, is who I was speaking about today. They came here in the early 1900s and uh, wanted to become citizens, which they both did. Uh, Santo um, never married, and so in 1917, when uh, the U.S. was entering the Great War, uh, he enlisted and uh, wanted to serve as an immigrant uh, coming to this country, loved this country. And I just think it's so significant because they found no um, history in Milton of commemorating their first hundred years, which would have been in 1917, probably because they were going into the First World War, which was the Great War. Never thought there'd be a second one. But anyway, he loved the country. They both would have entered, but he was married and starting to have children. My grandfather, which would have been my father, uh, uh, was born in 1917. So anyway, Santo, he got injured, uh, shrapnel in the posterior, and then uh, not only did they commemorate uh, with a certificate like this for every death, but also those wounded in the First World War. Um, the commendations like this was given to each one, and this one is get, uh, signed by Woodrow Wilson. Um, they seem to be personally signed by him because uh, the signature goes down into the, um, the white uh, part of the, of the framing. But anyway, uh, and then this is uh, the flag that draped his uh, coffin and the commendations that he got during his service, short service in the war, and uh, his uh, dog tags, very simple. Dog tags, name on one side, number on the other. But it's just, uh, I wanted to commemorate the, my ancestors uh, during this time in, that we're celebrating Milton's 200th. Milton is altogether celebrating, but it seems like in our nation, we're a very divided nation. You know, talking about immigration and do we want these people, don't we want these people? And back then, there was no saying no. We accepted them all. They had problems in their own ghettos and that stuff, but they were all hung together. And one thing they did want is they loved the country and they wanted to serve. And my great uncle served, got injured, and uh, loved the country to his death. And uh, so I wanted that to go down in history as a part of the Milton Bicentennial. Definitely. I thank you. That's very important. Before I finish up with you, sure. Um, did your uncle stay in Milton? Always. He did. He died in uh, 1961. Oh, wow. Yeah. So him, uh, he never married. So after my grandfather died in 1929, he continued living uh, with my grandmother and his mother and her mother. So it was like a real mix. And then uh, he had three children, but he died during the Great Depression, uh, which is interesting. He worked in the railroads out in Pittsburgh, so he wouldn't be home every night. He would maybe be home once a month. But he got appendicitis. He didn't know what it was. He went to the hospital. He was working on the railroad that day, so he was really looked like a bum. So they didn't admit him to the hospital. They thought he was just sitting out there on the steps, a bum. So here he died on the steps of the Pittsburgh hospital of uh, appendicitis, his appendix broke. And uh, it's just uh, the dichotomy, one serving in the war, another one 
being treated sort of like a bum, and it was only because he was so dirty from working on the railroads out there. Wow, that's awful. So what do these items tell, tell us, for those of us who are unfamiliar about Milton history, what does it tell us about Milton? For some reason, they came here, and it was probably because of the railroad and ACNF. Um, and someone from Milton probably wrote to them and said, hey, there's, you know, work over here if you can get your way over. And the three of them did. One decided to go to South America. The other two came here. And uh, they actually, they rented uh, from my grandmother's mother. So that's how the two of them got together. And uh, uh, sort of my uncle, I guess, lost out. He was the, not the pick of my grandmother. So, but uh, uh, they all lived together. He died, of course, in 1929. He lived to be 1961, even though he got a little bit of shrapnel in the, in the posterior as it was uh, put on his papers. So, but I think uh, during the bicentennial year in 1917, uh, the First World War, but that's when Milton should have been celebrating a hundred years of, you know, of existence, but uh, there's no known uh, com uh, um, history of anything going on in Milton because they were involved in the war. Did you have any final thoughts or anything you wanted to share before we end our interview? Uh, no, just uh, thanks to Susquehanna University and the Milton Library and the Bicentennial Committee for cooperating with all this. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.